Hello YouTubers and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to my latest Lego Star Wars review and this is from the summer 2014 wave of sets so this is another highly anticipated set this is the ATAT -AT set 75054 so I've already completed an unboxing of this set. I will put a link down to that in this video. So if you want to see the box, the bags that come in the box, an overview of the instructions, and there's also a huge poster that comes with the set too. Um, and I'll go over a few other details in that video. So please go and check that out and click on the link. Okay, so like I said, this is going to be a full review of this set. I do have someone here today helping me. Who may that be? Who is it? Ethan. Come and say hello then, Ethan. There you go. Hello. Yeah, well done. Okay then, Ethan. So, shall we show everyone a closer look at this set? Yeah. Okay, so let's start off with those minifigures. Okay, guys, first up we have our snow troopers. So, on the right of the screen, there are two snow troopers, and the one on the left. Um, which is defined by <coughs> the lack of the grey. It's probably the easiest way to put it. As you can see it's got white gloves on um, and grey. Uh, sorry, white around the belt. So that is the Snow Trooper Commander. Okay, so let's take a closer look at one of the Snow Troopers now. Okay, so we'll do a 360 view now. So on the rear here um, comes obviously the backpack. One thing to point out is in the center there that is actually a printed one by one tile. So it's actually a printed piece, which is pretty awesome. Um, the two snow troopers come with that piece. Uh, the commander doesn't, but there is also a spare one of those in the set. As you can see, he comes with the blaster. Okay, so with the blaster removed, I uh, see a little bit more of that print into the front of the torso. So let's just remove the helmet now. Okay, there we go. So there we can get to see the face detail in there. It's just a single sided print to that face. Okay, again, just looking at the rear, um, you can pick up the skirt detail. Round goes around the rear and the sides here. That's obviously a separate material piece, kind of standard in a lot of these minifigs now. So I'm just going to remove the backpack. Okay, so there we can see a bit more of that rear torso print in detail. Okay, and just look at this backpack now so we can see how that's made. Just that clip there, and there's that uh, one by one printed tile piece there it's pretty pretty cool little piece actually there we go finally <coughs> okay next up we have the snow trooper commander as we can see the commander does not come with a backpack with the helmet moved, you can see it's a single side printed face. Okay, back round to the front there with the helmet removed, you can see it is the same um, minifigure head that is with the standard snow troopers. And again, some of that front to torso printing detail there. Okay, so next up we have the AT80 AT driver, and you can see there. Got a bit of printing, obviously across the helmet, down into the front of the torso, um, and continuing down um, into the legs. And as we can see, the 8080 driver comes with a blaster pistol. And back round to the front with the helmet removed, and you can see there the same face as 
the Snow Trooper. So the 8080 driver actually has the same uh, minifigure head as the three Snow Troopers. Okay, so the final minifigure in this set is General Veers. Obviously we can see it there. Now looking at the rear and some of that rear torso printing, obviously matching the helmet, the colour. Now with the helmet off, um, and again we can see it's only single sided printing on all these minifigures for the faces. Now you can see there that side shot and he's actually ha uh, holding a set of uh, binoculars in his hand. Okay, finally back round to the front there. Um, then we can see without those binoculars, a bit of a better look at the print in there to the front of that torso. And with his helmet removed there, so you can see that face print in detail. And obviously he's got the earpiece and a microphone. Okay, so here we go on to the 8080 itself now. So the first thing we're going to do is give this a bit of a 360 view from a number of angles. So let's do that now. Okay, there we go. So a bit of a 360 view there. I'm going to try and give you a close-up of some of the features on this set. Now at some stage we're going to have to go off the tripod. Okay, so now we're looking at the main body of the ATAT. -AT. Okay, let's just zoom in there. So first thing we can do is open up either side, like so. So this is obviously where we can place um, our snow troopers. So if we just place them in there to show you, like so. And we can get another one in there next to him, like that. And then obviously we can close the side back down. Um, what we can also do on this, these sides do open a little bit so we can open up um, the front hatch there. Doesn't really suit any purpose other than you can see in there um, and obviously gives you an idea of how this is built actually for those of you that are interested. Obviously lots and lots of Technic pieces here. Um, one thing I will point out while we're in this position, let's just move back a second. So there we can see the main headpiece of the 8080. As you can see there, the turning um, radius is fairly limited. And I'll show you that from the front. I can turn pretty much that far. Um, there is a way of turning it all the way, well, to almost 90 degree angle, but it means we have to open this front panel up. So we open that up there and then open that front panel up. And then, as you can see, it then goes all the way around so that it's looking over the side. But obviously, the unfortunate things is um, these access areas need to be open to be able to um, obviously do that because yes. the normal position is literally only that far round. So moving to the rear, we can do the same there. Um, we can open up this rear access here as well, but again, doesn't really suit any purpose other than obviously you get a good look in there again, seeing all those Technic pieces um, that are used to assemble this. Okay, now looking towards the rear. If we have a look the main body again just some of the detailing obviously towards the rear 
um, section there. If we just move down a little bit, again you can see some of the detailing, um, obviously around that rear section. Um, and again, only just to show you, um, but obviously there's no main function. It's just the way this um, set is built. But like I showed you from the side shot, these can be opened out. And the easiest way to do it is open up either of those sides, open that up like that. And again, all that does really is just show just how obviously the set is built. If you wanted to, I guess you could squeeze some more um, snow troopers in there, um, but there's no real function. Um, with regards to obviously open it up like that. So back round, sorry, round to the other side rather. Again, um, the main hatch here opens up. So there we can obviously see now through um, those snow troopers there. So we can obviously put the other one in here as well. And place him obviously on that side. And then go on Ethan, if you close it down. Um, there we go, and that's it closed. Now, do you want to open both up, Ethan? That's one and the other side. If you can reach the other side as well, you can just give a shot straight through. Can you get it? Yep. There you go. That's it. Run that way then. And there we go. So we can just obviously see straight now with both those hatches open, and again, just close those down. Yep. Um, and just very quickly, obviously, same again on these sides. These two do obviously open up, but again, nothing, no features in there. Um, so obviously just again how the set was built. So there is also a hatch um, under the rear side of this, um, as most of you Star Wars fans um, should be aware. Um, so obviously the hatch will open up. Um, I'll just spin this around because then Ethan can demonstrate that to us. Okay Ethan, do you want to just pull it open? So look out for the hatch to fall down now. And there we go, well done, well demonstrated, Ethan. Um, as you can see there, obviously the hatch opened up and again, that's just held in position um, by a Technic pin. Um, yep. And the mechanism there, yeah, where, yeah, where Ethan's doing it there now. So if I push that up, push it in, Ethan. That's it, that's done. And there we go, so that is now held back in position. Pull it out again, Ethan. There we go, excellent demonstration. Okay, so now looking at the main, um, let's call it the headpiece here, which is obviously where Commander Veers and the AT-80 driver are going to be located to control the AT-80. Obviously, quite a bit of detail in here to the side. Um, as Ethan is demonstrating, the top hatch opens up there. So that's obviously how we get our General Veers and AT-80 driver in there to command it. Um, we'll put them in there in a minute. And then when I take the camera off the tripod, I'll be able to give you a better look at that. And if we close that back down for now, um, just so that I just want to zoom into some of these details there. We can obviously see some of those cannons there on the side and just a bit of the detailing um, going around the side and obviously up over to the top of that headpiece. Okay, now looking at the um, looking straight on really the front shot here so again just to put that into some sort of perspective so there's the <coughs> um, hatch at the top again that opens up and that mechanism again obviously we can see some more of those cannons another two here underside and you can see the two there and the two matching on that side and a background to the other side there other side shot so again we can just get to see a bit of that detailing and the uh, obviously clever use of pieces, <laughs> obviously we can see there that is a shovel piece which is used there to represent one of the cannons. i just zoom back out there and move us along, you can see the neck piece here. See that just again moves around so we can see how that moves. So one of the questions has been, um, I've been posting pictures of this on to Instagram. Um, and if you haven't done so already, please follow me on Instagram. Um, do try and post quite a few pictures on this when I'm building these things. So I did a stage by stage build on Instagram and some of the questions I was being asked um, was, does this drop or will it drop? Well, my answer to that is I don't think it will because you cannot move it up or down. It's quite solid in there. Um, it's gonna take some moving to get that to drop um, in my opinion. 
Okay, so I think that's it. Have I missed anything, Ethan, do you think? Yes, the spring loaders. Well, I missed the... The spring loaders. Oh, spring loaders. Oh, blimey. Yeah, you're right. There are. There's some spring loaders under Let's move that down and try and zoom in. Where are they? Yes, where Ethan's hand is. So you can see the front of the two. Yeah, two of them. Let's just try and get a shot. There we go. There we can see the rear of those spring loaders. And there, and there are two of them. Underneath there. So, oh, how are we going to demonstrate this then, Ethan? I'll tell you what we'll do. Should we try and shoot it at the camera? This yeah. This will be interesting. Hmm. Whoa. Should we have a go? Yeah. Right, hold on then. Let's get a bit more light in there. Oh, God. Do you want to do it? Oh, uh, yeah. Go on then. You know to do it. Just push rope. Get ready, guys. Spring loader coming. Whoa! Whoa! Good shot! Want to fire the other one off, Ethan? Let's zoom out a little bit. Hold on. Let's zoom out and raise this up a little bit so we get a different angle here. So, when you ready, Ethan? Whoa! Yes, right on the tripod. Good shooting! Okay, so now we're off the tripod, mainly so I can get a little bit closer and show you some more of the details. So, obviously, up the legs here. They are quite long too. They are, aren't they, Ethan? They are long legs. I thought they were going to be up to here. Did you? Mm. That's what you thought. Mm. It is very tall, isn't it? Mm. Okay, looking through to the other it's unbelievable. side. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, is it really? Mm. Okay, so we're going to get we're not the underside there. Smaller than I'll your tell you feet. what, Ethan, tell you what you can do. Do you want to pull that little trap door again? There we go. So another shot there of that trap door. Uh, that's obviously up into there. Again, we just push. Trying to get my finger away. Push that up. Push it in, Ethan. Have you done it? Oh, we've done it. Okay, one more. One more go, Ethan. Do it again. Got a good shot of that now. There we go. And actually, there. Look, that's awesome. We can see. Oh, it's just gone out of focus now. But we could see the. Um, one of the stormtroopers there in the rear, or inside rather. Okay, anyway, sorry about that guys, getting a bit carried away. Okay, so now a shot looking from the top down. Mm -hmm. And just going round to the front again, so now I'm just going to open up the hatch so we can get a look inside now. A bit of light in there. There we go. So we can see there the white areas are where they sit, obviously the driver at the front and general viewers there in the rear. There is a tile in there which is a printed tile, which we can see there, which represents the control panel. Apart from that, nothing else um, really going on inside, so let's get the two minifigures in there now. Okay, there we go, so there we can now see the AT-80 driver. Um, and then squeezed in behind him is General Veer, so it is obviously quite a tight fit in there for the two of them. And then obviously all we need to do is push down that hatch. Okay. Okay guys, so we just want to do another shot of that um, hatch on the underside. Ethan's keen to show you what happens if one of those snow troopers... Whoa! There you go, that's what happens. So obviously if he's standing on that escape hatch there, then... Uh, that's a long old fall for him. Do you think that hurt, Ethan? Yeah. Oh, not going to be in there. Okay, guys, got to keep your eyes peeled for this one. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, so while we're around this section, just want to show you inside because this is very basic in here. Um, there's no detail in here. or um, well, certainly very little detail in here. Um, all you can really see again is the build uh, with the Technic pieces. Um, it's obviously got a little bit of room there. He thinks you push the um, yep. holder in again. Like that, that guy. Okay, so obviously we have room there on that um, escape hatch, um, and obviously a little bit of room in here. So we could fit, I don't know, we could fit a few snow, sto sorry, snow troopers in there, but not a huge uh, amount. You could modify that. You could probably actually double stack that in there to be perfectly honest, put two layers in there um, if that's what you wanted to do. Okay, so one of obviously the final features on this 
Um, probably the most obvious one really is the legs. So obviously the legs are poseable and they can be moved into different positions. And there's a hinge at the top here, hinge piece up there, um, in the middle. So again, you can see that there. And then we can have it right back up like that if we wish to do so. Um, and again, at the bottom, the feet also um, can be moved like so. Good at it, so he's actually starting to tilt over now. And that just obviously gives you an idea of just how much we can move these legs around, which is obviously really cool. There we go. Cool. It's good, isn't it? Mm. You like it? Brilliant. So then. Okay guys, that's it. That is our review of this set finish. The awesome AT-AT -AT set 75054 from the summer 2014, win so, so winter, blah, 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 summer 2014 um, wave of sets. Yes, the AT-AT, -AT, um, Ethan. Anyway guys, so if you did enjoy this video, if you did, please go ahead and give it that big thumbs up. As always, leave any comments, feedback, questions. Let me know what you think of this set down in the comments section. And if you haven't done so already, what do they need to do, Ethan? Subscribe to Destination Lego. Move back in a bit more. Yeah, subscribe to. Whatever that way. Subscribe to Destination Lego. Thanks very much, everyone. And we look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheese! Say bye Ethan!